so continuing on from the previous section. The other thing I'm going to mark on here is my remaining lines. So if, let's say, you're doing a brick veneer house, you might measure from here out your cavity and brick and have a nail in for the outside of your brickwork and you'll probably have the outside of your footing. If it's a house on stumps, you might have maybe the centre line of the posts worked out. You'll come in half a post width plus any cantilevers you may have, but you'll mark the different components that you'll need. And the reason we do that, and again mark very clearly, is if we turn up one morning and you as the boss will say today, in fact let me just remove those string lines, you might say alright today we are digging some footings so we need line in for the excavator to follow. So you will say to the apprentice grab the string lines, set them up on the outside of the footings, they'll set those lines up on the outside of the footings all around job, you'll drop those marks onto the ground and use either some chalk or some marking paint to mark the ground with those footing positions, you dig the footings. So the next day, you'll say, right, we need the string lines up for the bricklayer so the bricklayer can get his first rows in. So you'll tie a string line to the brick. And that gets done that day. And then the next day, you'll say, right, we're going to put some, maybe some frames in. So set the lines up either to the outside of the frame or potentially for a brick veneer the inside of the frame, depends on the job. And now you can mark out your slab with your frame locations. Similarly over here we've got this one set up for stumps. We'll come through and we'll say, right, excavator's coming to drill holes for the posts, to concrete the posts in. So centre line of posts, we mark the middles, the excavator drills a bunch of holes. And then the next day, all right, we're going to set it up on the outside of the post now. And we can just put some concrete in the hole, drop the post into the edge of there, and concrete the posts in. And then maybe the next day it'll be lining up our bearers and joists to a string line position. And that's why you mark very clearly what each mark is. So it's very important when you do your practical, every time you put a nail in, you mark it very clearly what it is you are marking out and you have all the components that you need. You might potentially even measure across and mark maybe where something's got to come through the slab. Maybe there's a toilet pipe that has to come through a slab in a specified location so you'll measure across on the plans exactly where it is, put a string line to it and the plumber can bring his pipe up in exactly the right spot. You can even use it for different purposes like that. So that is an initial set out of a house with our string lines, being able to mark on the ground the components that we need for machinery to come through later and do whatever drilling or digging or excavation may be needed. So everything we've done here with identifying the site and setting everything up and setting our profiles up, we've done on a fairly flat block of land here. Something that's been quite easy to get all of our profiles in nice and level and straight with each other. But what happens if you're on a steep block of land where you can't get these profiles in at an even height? Well, that will be covered in the next video.